Welcome to the world exclusive first ever Alpaca Metro backpack review. In this review, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about this bag. I'm gonna get real with the pros and the cons so you can decide if it's the backpack for you. But if it's not, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video where I'll make some alternative recommendations for bags that might better suit your needs. Let's start off by talking about the gist of the Alpaca Metro backpack. First of all, if you're a long time watcher of the show, this is like a new setup. Reason being, we're switching from shooting at my apartment to a new office. We haven't set up the actual table yet, so we're kind of just like jerry-rigging this whole f And I'm very uncomfortable while sitting and doing reviews. This is like my first time, so if I'm like, if I seem extra fidgety, that's why. This is Alpaca's smallest backpack ever. As of recording, it's still on pre-order for a discounted price with an estimated shipping date of December 15th, 2023. It's 12 liters of space for those days where you're just kind of hopping around the city. That smaller size gives it a very compact look and lightweight feel. The primary material is Alpaca's custom-made Axoflux recycled fabric. I had to say it like 10 times to get it. Axoflux recycled fabric. Is that 10 times fast? Which is really just a 300D polyester. Great thing about polyester, it's light breathable and it's weather resistant but not quite as weather resistant as like a nylon or an x-pack would be so keep that in mind we got a quick access pocket in the front with some impressive capacity and a tech compartment inside the main compartment that can fit up to a 14 inch laptop it currently comes in one color option black it weighs a very light 1.7 pounds this is the bag when it's empty and this is the bag when it's fully packed out and worn on me waltzing through the streets of hong kong and for reference i'm five foot eight and don't worry i'm going to show you exactly what this bag can pack out so you can see if it fits your needs all alpaca products come with a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects and while it's on pre-order this bag is running around 85 usd and then after that it'll cost around 95 to 100 usd and if at any point in this review you're thinking to yourself holy moly that's my match Metro, me, me, made in heaven. I was like, I for like a thing like match made in heaven. It, it didn't work. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes, especially for Alpaca. But that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Alpaca Metro backpack. First up, the Axoflux. It's a custom made fabric. It's freaking awesome. And I quite like it. It feels smooth while having a bit of robustness to it. It's low key and subtle. It doesn't like scream like, look at me. I'm rich, but it's also got a little shine to it, a little gloss to give it a bit of panache. And overall, it will be fairly weather resistant. But notice this is a pretty minimalist front design. One thing that I love that Alpaca does too is like no logos, they're bold. They only got the logo right here, this little tag. So if you're into like subtle anonymous branding, Alpaca is like bringing their a game when it comes to anonymous branding and I love that. But the big thing to talk about on the front is this front pocket. Sort of kind of, it might remind some of y'all of like um, an Evergood CPL 24, maybe a Bellroy Transit, Able Carry Max. Lots of bags do this sort of opening and it's great for a few reasons. Mostly for its quick access. Let's say you're whizzing around the city and you're like, I need a pen. Just go ahead and swing this bad boy over, unzip and then et voila, pen or phone, or wallet, or water bottle, or whatever it is that you wanna put in here. And the capacity of this pocket is actually really impressive. For instance, I got this big old 1.5 liter water bottle, and you can see that it fits with room to spare. You might even be able to get two of them in there. That's really impressive. So if you're looking for a lot of versatility with your pockets and your, its, its capacity, this thing rocks. But if you're a normal person, you might wanna use it for other things, throw a couple pens in there. Uno, dos, maybe a notebook on the side pocket. Then you've got this key leash, which is really interesting. It's just like a nylon webbing fabric. There's no hardware. Luckily I use a hardware from Orbit Key, so I can go ahead and loop that on like so. And the position of this key leash is great because it just makes it so easy to grab your keys when you're unlocking your front door. Put that right there. Also should be noted that this is a YKK. Are you YKK? Yes, YKK. PU coated zipper, that PU coating will help with extra weather resistance. Okay, next up, let's talk about the middle of the Alpaca Metro backpack. First thing to note, on either side, there are no external water bottle holders. The pro, this gives you a much cleaner, flusher, sleeker, uh, streamlined -er look, which is killer, right? It just looks freaking good. But on the flip side, you're not gonna be able to fit any water bottles on the outside of the bag. On the top, we have this handle right here. There's not a lot of room, so if you got like beefier, girthier th fingers, uh, grabbing this handle will, you know, provide a, a bit more of a challenge. But on the bright side, we got some really nice webbing. Silky, smooth, high quality. Ooh, one thing to note too is with this like classic backpack style, they've added this classic backpack 
main compartment protection flap, which just helps with extra weather resistance. This is not a PU coated zipper, but sometimes it does make opening and closing it a little bit just more annoying. It doesn't get caught caught, but you know, it gets in the way. We're in front side of the main compartment. We have a zipper pocket at the top and two smaller pockets, both made with lining. They have a little bit of volume. The top pocket is interesting. Normally a backpack in this range will have like some sort of like power mesh or something that you can see through. This is a non mesh, but it does provide wee little bit of elasticity. For me, pockets like this are great for your wires, out of sight, out of mind. This pocket right here is the perfect size for a Nintendo Switch or a Kindle. And the other pocket, because of its sort of extra volume, is a good spot for a small water bottle. You can see this is a 17 ounce water bottle from Lark. Fits nicely, but you're not gonna get like a, a thick water bottle in there. Which is fine, it's a small backpack, bring a small water bottle. Don't complicate things. And then flip it over to the other side, we have sort of like a tech area. These two pockets right here, similar material as the larger zipper pocket on the top. Not a lot of elasticity going on but you will get more security, right? Because it's like a little bit tighter, a little more secure. These pockets are good for tech stuff. It's not super well padded, but you know, thin tech items. Got my magic mouse, portable battery. Now let's talk about the laptop compartment. It's big enough for a 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's my 13 inch, slides right in. Ultimately, it's a good laptop compartment. Not as good as if it had like its own separate laptop compartment, in my opinion, because the access will be compromised a little bit for grabbing your laptop, especially when this bag is packed out, which I know is kind of like a nerdy thing, but it's important. And I spent a lot of time thinking about this because, well, I don't know if you know, but I'm actually building my own backpack and that backpack does have its own laptop compartment. But not only am I building my own backpack, I'm actually building it in public on this YouTube channel. And I'm getting the community involved as well. So if you wanna learn more about what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up and get a behind the scenes look and help vote in some of the key features, you're gonna to wanna to check out the second link in the description below. That'll show you where we're at in the building a backpack project and how you can get involved. Hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. There's no false bottom going on a little bit, kind of. But decent padding both on the backside and on the front. And you can see, I mean, it's a 12 liter bag. We're filling up really fast here. But we still got some main compartment space for which I'm gonna throw a jacket in there, a laptop stand. Let's see if I can squeeze a keyboard in there. Yeah, yeah, that works. And you can see that's kind of it. That's what we're dealing with. Small pack. It's not meant for those commutes where you have like seven days worth of tech stuff. It's just a simple, small, compact, and adorable bag for sort of jetting around the city. Okay, let's talk about the back of the Alpaca Metro backpack. Not a lot going on here. The shoulder straps do have these Hypalon external lash points, which are good for hanging things externally, primarily your shades, right? You just pop your shades in there, grab them when you need them. And as you may have heard a couple times in the video, we also have very loud, but very premium metal hardware, which just helps to give the backpack a little bit more of a sophisticated touch. Below the hardware, we have these dangle stoppers. Thank you, Apaka. Apaka gets it, dangle is the enemy. Let's talk about comfort. Now here's the thing, like I said, it's a 12 liter bag. It's just a little guy. So it doesn't need to be as padded and as well ventilated as a larger travel bag has to be. But you still want comfort, right? So Apaka gave us a bit of padding on the shoulder straps. It's got like a nice little gel-like feel to it. And the straps themselves have removed the padding at the top, therefore giving the shoulder straps a little bit better range of motion. And then on the back panel, we have this padding. This cut down the middle is fantastic. It will provide extra ventilation on those hot, sweaty summer days. And the padding itself is padded. Nice little rebound to it. A little bit more on the dense side, but for a pack this size, it definitely gets the job done. But in my opinion, one epic miss that I'll pack up missed with this bag is there's no luggage pass-through holder. Because for me, a 12 liter bag is like the perfect companion to bring on a flight, especially with a larger or mid-sized suitcase, right? You're rolling the suitcase, you got the Metro bag that's got all the stuff that you want quick access to, and then your shoulder gets a little tired, you just wanna slide it onto the roller luggage handle, you can't. And I feel like a luggage pass-through holder just would've ended up taking this bag to the next level. Let's talk about the overall pros and the overall cons of the Alpaca Metro backpack. Overall pro number one is the impressive capacity in the front pocket. Overall pro number two is the clean and classy aesthetic. And pro number three is the accessibility to the main compartment. But we're fair here at Nomad's Nation. Here's my cons. Con number one for many of you will be the lack of the exterior water bottle holder. Con number two is gonna be a lack of space with the top handle. And con number three, ah, luggage pass-through holder. It would've cost like, like, like 20 cents. Just staple one on. 
But if you're still here, you're still watching this, there's a good chance you might be thinking to yourself, holy gosh darn, that's the backpack of my dreams. I'm in love. And if you're gonna make a purchase, just a reminder that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and we usually have alpaca discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate, thank you. But if you're not quite sold, don't you worry, I'm gonna throw a couple alternative recommendations your way that might better suit your needs. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Able Carry 13. This is for you if you're looking for a bag in this size range, but you want something that can handle the great outdoors as well as the great city. Able Carry does crossover gear that can handle both. I love the 13 backpack. And to learn more about it, check the description below and you'll find links to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is gonna be the Bellroy Classic Backpack. This will be for you if you're loving that classic backpack vibe and silhouette, but you're like, ah, actually 12 liters, not big enough. I need bigger. That's what Bellroy's bringing to the table. If that's the case, Bellroy's got your back. And to learn more about the classic backpack, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, alternative recommendation number three is gonna be the Air City Pack. This bag is gonna be a great option for you if you love the size and the urbanness of the Alpaca Metro backpack, but you wanna see a bag that does it a bit differently and you want that luggage pass-through holder. To learn more about the Air City Pack, watch this video right here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.